How's it going guys, Texas HD here, my HL16 goalie tutorial, I know a lot of you guys have been having trouble playing goalie, keeping the pocket on the net, so I'm hoping this video can help you out. If you guys are playing EASHL goalie, you want to be uh, choosing the hybrid goalie class. The stand-up goalie class is really good for up top stuff, but it sucks for rebounds, so you're going to get destroyed all day, just them throwing the puck on net, putting in the rebounds. And then the butterfly class is the opposite, really good for down low stuff, but you're just going to get sniped up top all day as they go top shelf on you. So hybrid goalie, best of both worlds, it really doesn't have any great weaknesses, as you can see it says weaknesses, skills are mid-range. It basically just means it's not amazing at anything, but it's not really bad at anything else either, which is basically uh, the best option for you. Because if you're bad at one thing, they're just going to exploit it. So one of the reasons I think a lot of people have been having trouble playing goalies is because EA uh, did all new goalie controls, and they actually didn't release them in the beta. So as you can see, they finally released the controls for us. Now, looking at these controls, the one thing I want to bring your attention to more than anything is the precision control. As you guys can see, it's left trigger plus left stick on the Xbox, L2 plus left stick on the PlayStation. And this is huge, and it's a must for any goalie right now. Uh, basically, you should be do holding the left trigger the entire game, pretty much. Uh, what it does is it basically makes sure that all your shuffles inside the crease are Lot smaller so right there you can see that's me shuffling the crease without the precision control and then right there is me shuffling in the crease with it so it makes it so your moves are a lot shorter which is a lot better as it's for some reason it seems like this crease is super slippery or something so you want to be doing that make sure you can just kind of have more control in the crease stay square to the shooter and you're not basically getting all all around like you know pushed around and flying out of the crease and stuff like that so we're here guys we got these next controls you can see we got a bunch of desperation like saves we got diving save diving po check spread eagle stack pads all these things are good but right now they're really not that useful as they're so desperate like if you stay on one side of the crease and you use it you're gonna probably end up not even into the crease you're gonna be way out of the crease nowhere even close to making the save free skate you really only want to use if you want to fight uh, one good thing here though is the poke check obviously it's good on breakaways that get really near you or it's good for uh, deflecting those uh, cross crease passes if you're out at the top of the circle they go for the cross crease poke check break that up it's a really good tool to have so right here guys you can see like i was saying again the precision control is a must so if you're not using precision control let's say you're doing something like the butterfly slides right here you can see me pushing those butterfly slides to the left and to the right and i mean i'm getting way out of the crease like there's no reason for me to be ever out that far to the side and like i said just there's no reason to use it you want to stay with that precision control right there you can see i stayed in the center of the net stayed square to that puck and the goalie made the save right there again with the gloves so again Stay square the puck, stay in the center of your crease, don't get too far back though, stay up top, you'll make the save right there again, pad save, no butterflies slide or anything like that, that was just like the automation, right there's a nice little poke check, um, them trying to get that cross crease, that's just, you know, being in the position, it's basically all about position guys, so right there, breakaway, stay in the center of the, uh, the, of the net, and I didn't actually make that great a save, but the pad was there, right there was a pretty good one, I had to move a bit to the right, and stuck the pad out again, all I'm doing here is holding LT and just moving the left stick and staying square to the shooter and then hoping I'm in a good enough position where like the AI save, I guess, mechanic from the goalie will just do whatever it has to to make the save. And that's going to give you the best chance to stop the puck. All right, you guys, are some controls with the puck. You got dump puck, pass puck, leave puck for teammate. I recommend never really passing the puck or leaving the puck for teammate unless there's absolutely no opponents around. Otherwise, it's not a good idea. And then dumping the puck's really only useful when someone's like screen out of the penalty box, something like that. Otherwise... You never really want to do it. And one of the reasons, guys, is it's already difficult enough to play defense. You don't want to make it tougher on your team, you know, passing the puck out, make them have to try to cover for you. Right there, you can see, though, a big stop from one-eye defense. And like I said, you don't want any more havoc than there already is in front of your net, in front of the crease. So basically, you just cover the puck up, wait for the whistle, and you're probably going to be golden. So if you guys follow this, uh, you should have a better, you know, job playing goalie. Right there, you can see another big breakaway save. Like I said, all that is precision control, staying square to the shooter, staying in the center of the ice, or the center of the crease, sorry watching him, following him when he makes his one move, you know, let him make the first move, and uh, you should be good, and you should be able to help your team win some games here in the ASHL beta, so assuming they don't, you know, completely overhaul goalies by the time the real game comes out, these should, uh, these tips and uh, this tutorial should help you guys when the real game comes out, and like I said, hopefully it makes you guys play goalie better, I know at first it's really confusing, I think my first game I went, I let in like nine goals, but once I figured it out, once I started using, uh, you know, the things I learned, I let in like two goals the next game, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys did, leave that thumbs up, thanks for watching guys, have a nice day. Goodbye.